So it's live now. We get to uh, experience the webinar, and we're going to go through some advanced nutritional strategies today. Um, I'm just going to go and turn the comments section on. So uh, you can I just enable chat so you can ask me any questions. Uh, just there. So ask me any questions you want um, throughout this webinar because this webinar is for you all, um, ladies and gents uh, who are on here tonight. There's uh, We're going to wait probably about one minute more before kicking off and then we're going to go through our advanced nutritional strategies. Um, we'll go back and forth between my screen a little bit and also make sure we all understand what we need to be doing to gain the results that we want. Um, so guys, does anyone, uh, everyone who, has anyone not worked out their grams to percentages yet? Um, I'll actually do a poll so it's easier. So on the right hand side, there's a little poll there, guys. Um, have you worked out your My Fitness Pal, your actual calories um, from the Excel spreadsheet, which is in the member site, and it gives you the specific grams you need: your proteins, your carbohydrates, and your fats. So have you done that? Use the video where I showed you to change it from percentages inside My Fitness Pal to grams. So you can get specific with the exact number of grams you're going to be eating. Um, so just yes or no, and be truthful because it's okay if you haven't done it yet. Just just let me know a yes or a no. Okay, so I'll give you ten seconds just to fill that out for me. There's a little poll thing on the right hand side, just fill it out there. Just gonna end poll. So 33%. So those who haven't done that yet, um, is there a reason is there like in the chat part? Because obviously I you know I can see exactly who's on and who's not on, um, ladies and gents. Why we haven't done that yet is a reason we don't know how to do that. Uh, we're not sure what to do. Uh, what, what's the reason behind it? I'll do it live right now just to show you how quickly we can do it, guys. So I'm going to switch to screen share. I'll go into your 56 days. So this is what the girls see, guys. Yours is a little bit different because you know you've got a couple of other. You got a lean muscle gain um, and a fat loss. But here, are girls and girls and guys, you watch this video. Then you also this is obviously how you work out your macronutrients in the macronutrient calculator. It's as simple as that. So you download this here. I open it up. It was going to take me two seconds for these guys. I just want to make sure everyone knows how to do it. My age, 29, uh, weight, 97, height, 172, uh, body fat, 14, target body weight, 90. So you can see right here. It gave me my protein in grams, my fat in grams, and my carbohydrates in grams. So it gave me everything just here that I need uh, to work out exactly what I want. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go across to my fitness pal. So I'll go into my my fitness pal. I have. I'm also in my membership site just here, so you can see my fitness power is opening. And I want to change my specific macronutrients to this here. So 
It's 192 grams of carbs, 192 grams of protein, and 79 grams of fat. So I click on home inside my fitness power. I click on goals in my fitness power. I press change goals. I press custom and continue. So you're going to get this video again, guys. I just want to do it for you live so you can see exactly how it's done. Now, as you can see here, like there's videos on how to set up my fitness power. There's also a video right here on how to change uh, your my fitness power macros from percentages to grams. Uh, so it's as easy as that, guys. So we want to click this link. So it says here's the URL I'll mention in the video because what we need to do is there we have our bookmarks bar at the top here. You can see this, so I've actually already bookmarked it here. Um, it's a JavaScript that you just need to drag up there. So see this here. You simply use this if if you are if you're using Chrome, you just need to install Taper Monkey. So you just literally click Taper Monkey. You press Add to Chrome, and it's, and it adds to Chrome. I've already added it, so it takes not long there. And if your bookmarks bar isn't showing, you click the button here on the right hand side, and you click Show Bookmarks Bar. Once that's done, we're back on this page. You simply drag macro enhancements at the top here, and see now I have two of these. So I have two macro enhancements. I come back to my Fitness Power. And if I click that macro enhancements, watch these here for me. Watch this bit here. Okay? So I click, and all of a sudden they change to, to percentages or grams. So I can go in there and I can write 192 protein. So 192 protein. I would write 79 fat. And I would write 192 the carbohydrates. And then I press change goals, and then it changes my goals inside my My Fitness Power. So I'm not going to do that because mine are, are set to what I need. Um, but because that was a female fat loss, that's not what I am. Um, but you can see, <laughs> you can see exactly like a day of mine. So today I had some whey protein, some yogurt, 200 grams, some berries, lunch was a steak um, with some cauliflower and cheese, then we had meatloaf for dinner, a couple of skinny cows, uh, protein with some skim milk and some peanut butter as well. So that was today. Uh, yesterday, you'll see everything is within one to two grams here. So I want to be within three grams the whole time. So same sort of thing, I had a couple of wraps yesterday, um, it was some cauliflower and some salmon and stuff at dinner time, some yogurt in the mornings. Saturday was uh, some bacon, eggs, avocado, pasta, um, everything still, zero, one, two. So it's all the same guys and I'm just on my calories from doing it. So I'm going to flick back to the Google Hangout. Back to screen share. I'm going to can I post the YouTube the po the YouTube links in the in the membership site? Humbar can post that YouTube link just here. Give me two seconds. What's up, guys? It's TJ here from RBT. That is the link to the YouTube, so you can copy and paste that um, at the same time. I'm just going to haven't got around to it, but we'll do it now. Perfect. Ahu, not sure what to do. Ahu, does that help you? Bonnie, yes. Ahu, um, polls. I'm going to leave this poll open for the next 30 seconds, guys. Did this help you understand what to do, yes or no? Just so I understand we all are on the same page with our nutrition. The reason we're changing it to grams instead of percentages is because if it's on grams, 
then it can be more accurate. Percentage goes back and forth between the 5%. So it can fluctuate your grams by about 10 to 20 grams, depends on how many calories you're having. When we flick MyFitnessPal to grams, it's very accurate and we can track our grams to the T. Now, when you have your, your nutritional calls, every single two weeks based on what's happening with your body fat, what we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be telling you you need to take out 10 grams of carbs and 2 grams of fat or we need to add some in. Um, whatever is happening with your body fat, we're going to be telling you what to adjust inside my fitness power. So if you need to adjust what mate taking 10 grams out, you take 40 grams of calories off, you take 10 grams of carbs out, and it might be 2 grams of fat. So it's 9 calories uh, per, per gram of fat, so it's 18 calories out. So in total, you're taking out 58 calories, and that's going to be the change to your whole diet, which is going to kickstart you off that plateau. So um, yes or no, did this help? 13% said no, 87% said yes. Okay, so guys, if that didn't help whatsoever, just ask me why um, that didn't help at all. And I'm happy to, for those 13% of people that said that didn't help, to make sure I help you guys as well. Um, but we're going to obviously move on. Um, we're rehashing a couple of things tonight. I'm going to fly through everything. And uh, we're going to go through a little bit of a PowerPoint. And like I said, throughout the time, guys, simply ask the questions and I will be answering uh, answering them out throughout the rest of the time, okay guys? So I'll go back to sharing my screen. And I'll pull up the PowerPoint. So I'm not gonna go into a slideshow mode, guys. I'm just gonna keep it up like this. Um, so welcome to this, guys. Uh, basically, tonight we're going to go through uh, what we're going to be doing with our training, our macros, nutrition, body fat calculation, and reverse dieting. Um, I'll go through a couple of tangents on the way, uh, like I always do, to create a point across. Um, and you know that's that's what I do, guys. So um, you're going to get your own training logs. Obviously, they're at the gym at the moment. There's little books that Nick's done, so you can pick them up at the gym as well. Uh, there's everything there. And psychology has proven that positive reinforcement helps to improve your work ethic. Now, from one of the best things to arise from, from keeping a weight training log is the ability to chart your progress. So we chart our progress for a specific reason. And I'm going to bring up now, that's my training program. I'm going to bring up your training program if I can. I will bring it up in a second. Um, so basically, guys, with with you working through your training program, over the first couple of weeks, we're working at a 60 to 65%. So that means we're only lifting 60% of our 1RM, and, uh, and that, that's obviously we're not working at our highest capacity or highest intensity. Um, the reason we do that is we're going to be lifting 10 reps. As we come down in our rep ranges, over the next eight weeks, as I don't know if you've seen inside your training platform, but every single, every third, it goes two weeks at the same percentages, third week it goes up, fifth week it goes up, seventh week, week it goes up. So every couple of weeks, the percentage of your lifting maximum increases, so we're lifting a heavier weight, which is going to give you a bigger stimulus to track your training log, but obviously, obviously get a better body transformation. So with our training log, essentially you wouldn't drive somewhere you haven't been without a map. So this is what our training log is for. So by keeping a weight training log, you should be able to see your progress, watch your self-improvement in the mirror. Uh, it's a little bit too slow sometimes. We're going to talk about that tonight as well. Um, but having it in front of you showing your essentially your metabolic capacity is going to be increasing as our strength is increasing. Okay, so this is the reason why we track our strength increases because we know something's happening on the inside of that body because with strength comes lean muscle mass. So, ladies, you're never going to get big and bulky from lifting heavy things. It's okay. Don't stress. 
you're on a calorie deficit. Most guys find it hard to put on mass, let alone uh, yourselves. So that is one thing. I wouldn't worry about that. Um, and if you pick up heavy things and eat a calorie deficit, uh, eat the right foods, which is the foods obviously we, we sit inside your MyFitnessPal with your macros. Your muscles get stronger, denser. You're going to burn the fat off the top of your muscle, which will give you more of a toned look, okay, which means you're more lean, sexy muscles. So believe it or not, strength training will produce a more efficient weight loss effect than an equal amount of cardio. Um, when you strength train, when you strength train, your muscles are broken down, so you have little micro tears, and they're rebuilt over a 24 to 48 period, hour period of time. While your body is rebuilding these muscles, it's recruiting more calories in energy to actually make this process occur. So the reason we do this, guys, is it lifts our metabolism for the next 36 to 48 hours. And obviously, that's exactly what we want to do to make sure we're getting the results that we want. Okay, ladies? Now, like I said, any questions throughout the time, happy to answer them. And women can train like men. We're all built to squat, deadlift, bench press. It's our everyday moves that we want to get strong with them. So we get stronger and stronger and stronger. As we get stronger, our metabolism increases. We look toned and we achieve our results. And remember, it's 80-90% diet. So that's why we really need to track the macros to the T so we're going three grams either side to actually achieve the fat loss and get the optimal body transformation, which is what you want. So, but we know the guys aren't afraid to lift. Make sure the girls just don't outlift you. It happens. It's okay. Don't be scared. Uh, just lift a little bit heavier. Uh, and don't be afraid uh, of a little bit of cardio because what we're going to be doing is the hit and hurt based methods. So hit and hurt, they're both two types of high intensity training. So we use a bit of a, a Tabata based principle with that. It's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off as it says and uh, it's for eight rounds. So for four minutes in total, that's how long we're going to be doing this to bar to four. So for the high intensity resistance training, it's more of a cardio style. So it's running, rowing, cycling, um, things like that. For our hurt training, it's squat to press, could be lunge jumps, squat jumps, burpees, it could be kettlebell swings, things that are going to be putting a resistance training against it. And that's, that's the difference between the two. Um, and long slow cardio, the reason why we don't do long slow cardio is it actually starts to ruin your metabolism a little bit. So your body uh, it gets more and more, uh, more and more efficient at what it does. So every single day it gets more and more efficient. So if you're doing five hours of cardio a week, uh, for the first week you may be actually losing like uh, 500 calories or burning 500 calories every single session and you're doing that for the first couple of weeks. Your body actually wants to get more efficient at things, funnily enough. So weeks three, weeks four, weeks five, it starts to burn less calories and it's burning like 400 calories, it's burning 300 calories. You know, weeks eight, nine, 10, it starts to burn 200 calories. So you're doing it five times a week, it's gone from burning all of a sudden 2,500 calories a week for five times a week, down to burning like 1,000 calories for the same hour of running. So that, that changes, changes a big shift. There's about 7,000 calories in a kilo of fat, so that means you would be running for seven weeks, five hours a week, 35 hours to lose one kilo after your body starts to adjust to it, which kind of sucks. And I know a lot of us have done cardio in the past and we sort of plateaued, and that's why we don't want to do it. Instead, we do more of a high-intensity intervals, so six 30-second sprints on a rower, treadmill, could be the hurt stuff or, uh, or hit stuff we were talking about before. It's been proven that uh, you know the, the hour of cardio, instead of doing six 30-second sprints with rest recover, uh, the sprinters lost 50% more fat. So they're working for three minutes of effort instead of 60 minutes. So you get 57 minutes of time up your sleeve purely to do whatever you want, plus you're burning more fat for doing three minutes as well. So we all want to go more, look more like her than like her. We want to have a nice, lean, athletic-toned body. With doing too much running, you're going to burn your muscle mass as well. 
So it actually starts to break down your muscle mass. Now, easy way out, sounds familiar. You've just started your diet. Certain things are going to be different. So I'm going to actually show you that picture because I didn't show it to you. You were just seeing my face. Um, there we go. So we're looking more at this picture, guys. So we want to go visual, long slow cardio, visual reference, more of a sprinter. Obviously, that's what we want, the difference, okay? Um, so if this sounds familiar, you're starting your diet, your service is going to be different this time around, and it's going to work. You're cranking along, all of a sudden, uh, everything's going well, uh, fine for a while, and then shit happens. Uh, you know, there's a cookie, there's anything like that. For anyone who's seen my talks, I'm going to quickly talk over a couple of things for five minutes, what I've said before, okay? So uh, we're going to talk about flexible dieting and why we do the flexible dieting, and I'm going to actually give you a couple of tips for those of us who are still doing or who have done it for the last eight weeks as well. So when there's cookies, when there's chocolate, what happens? We eat, don't eat just one cookie, we eat all the cookies, okay? We don't just eat one block of chocolate or one bar of chocolate, we eat all the chocolates. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's not what we want, guys. We don't want to eat all the chocolate, binge, feel crap, and then go off our diet. And we don't want to have two steps forward, one step back. We want to just keep plowing forward with our results nonstop. So obviously, we don't have to do that, which is why we do flexible dieting at the gym. Flexible dieting is well, we can have some chocolate, we can have some, you know, some wine, we can have some of the foods we love, we can have some ice cream, as long as it's inside our macronutrients, though we are eating 80% of the good foods. So when I say 80% of the good foods inside your nutrition here, it has 80% of the foods we want to stick to. So, you know, we've got our oats, berries, brown whites, quinoa, whole grain pitas, fruits, vegetables, um, all our proteins, all our fats, 80% is kind of made up in here, the 20% can lag. The reason why we make the 80% up in here is because there is also a thermic effect of food. Your body actually takes, I think it's 50% more energy to actually burn the whole foods instead of the processed foods. So it's uh, called dietary-induced thermogenesis which means your body has to lift your some metabolism up that little bit higher just to break down the whole foods instead of the processed stuff. So that's why we, we, uh, we have the whole foods in there. And uh, also we allow the chocolate because the first thing what happens, if I tell you you can't have chocolate, what do you want? You want chocolate, okay? Um, so we keep these things in your diet so uh, you can basically, uh, you don't have to binge, okay? So the bottom line, so a simple way out, and that's just you have to obviously adjust our food intake, and we go through a calorie deficit, and that's with the calculator. It puts you in the calorie deficit straight away to help you lose body fat, and that's what we want. So we want to lose fat, not just weight, because with weight, guys, we can be just in a calorie deficit, and we can, we can essentially lose weight but not fat, but we want to actually lose weight, okay? So that is the crucial thing. We have all may have lost weight in the past and put it back on because we might have lost muscle mass as well because we might not have had our macronutrients correct. And that's why we have enough protein in our diet to sustain our muscle mass. So the protein is the amino acids, the building blocks, guys, is it's the building blocks of... Uh, of your muscles, of your body. So protein helps basically repair, recover, and do all the things we want it to do. Um, I should really change my, turn my Facebook off as this thing's happening because there's beeping in the background. Um, so what we want to do, guys, is there we go. I'll turn it off. Um, what we want to do, guys, is basically have our protein. It's the amino acids. It builds up our uh, broken down muscle. If we don't have enough protein in our diet, our muscles break down. We'll lose weight and muscle mass and fat and our metabolism will start to dip down because we're not maintaining our metabolism up here because we're losing muscle mass. So that's why we have the correct protein inside our diet. We also need uh, the right type of carbohydrates and the right type of fats. Um, so which is why we have these uh, macros that we should track. So our body fat will start to go down as we come down here but we'll hold as much lean muscle mass 
as we possibly can, guys. And that's the that's the crucial thing. So most females will see it between obviously around the, the you know anywhere between the twenty two to thirty to forty percent mark as they start out. Okay, now that's completely fine. When I talk to most females, they want to look extremely happy inside a bikini. And extremely happy inside a bikini is around that 15% mark, 15 to 16% mark, depending on age. Um, and it has, some of us have a goal of like hitting 14, 13%. And what we want to be doing is we want to be losing 0.75 kilos per week to achieve our body. Anything faster, we can get a little bit of a metabolic disruption. So everyone has a metabolism, we're gonna talk about that in a second. Um, and anything slower is obviously we need to go a little bit more deficit or we need to you know, add a little bit more high intensity cardio or we need to look at the hormonal changes that are going inside our body as well. With males, males are seen between normally, normally when they come about 18 to 23, up to 28, 30%. And guys want abs, abs happen under 10%. Okay, so that's what we want as far as uh, our abs and, and uh, our bikini bodies. Now, the body fat testing method that we do at RBT is, is different to a caliper-based method. Okay, so a caliper-based method is where you get the, the, like the pinching um, calipers, you grab some fat, they pinch it, they see how many millimeters of skin folds in there. Uh, we don't do that RBT, obviously, because we have different people doing the body fat, but also if we are above the 25, 28, or even like 23%, it can be a little bit hard when you're grabbing the body fat, and it can't be a true correct reading sometimes. So we use the ultrasound method purely, like I posted in the group the other day, a whole article about it, because it truly reads how much, how fat the tissue is, so it shows it's exactly how, how big the fat layer is, and it tracks it to the T. And it doesn't matter if I do it, if Nick did it, if Inca did it, if Matt did it, if Archie did it, if Kate did it, if anyone did it, it's exactly the same. But if it was different between me and Arch doing it and we did the scalpers, I grab fat, and because you have to try and grab the fat and roll the layer, we grab it differently. So if I did it on the same day, it would be completely different. But with the ultrasound calipers, it's direct to the caliper, Okay, so every single time is direct to the actual caliper. So we want to rough it on that exact percentage to show we're coming down by the 0.75 kilos per week. Now, so that's exactly why we do the, the testing that we do, guys. Um, we don't want just the scales. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you weigh 70 kilos or 50 kilos as long as you feel comfortable and you, you get the body fat that you want. Um, obviously, your weight will start to come down a little bit. Guys, if you want to increase the lean muscle mass, then obviously it will go up if you're following the lean muscle mass um, calculations. Um, but scales don't take into consider body fat, okay? And that's why we don't use body fat as a true measure. Um, and we don't want to have be guilty about the foods we eat. And that's the biggest thing what happens as well is why we go towards flexible dieting, guys. We don't want to be guilty because we're eating, uh, you know, a piece of chocolate or, or you know, a bowl of ice cream, we weren't allowed in our diet, so it's a part of our fat loss regime. Okay, we want it to be part of that fat loss regime, guys. If you have any other questions, post them now. Happy to answer any questions as we're going through this. Just pretend it's like you're putting your hand up. Um, so I'll continue going. So. Uh, a lot of diets fail, guys, because primarily the dieters fail because they're focusing on the short term, not the long term. They cut the calories out way too fast, and then obviously what happens is a couple of hormonal implications. I'm going to show you a graph right now. I'm going to pull it up and show you a bit of crash dieting versus reverse dieting because I believe that I've frozen, but I believe that um, graphs can can sometimes go a little bit better than my voice. So, so this graph here, guys, crash dieting. So this crash dieting, uh, what happens is this here is your calories. This here is your metabolic rate. Now, every single person has a metabolic rate. This is calories, so that's that 2,000 there. So what it means is your metabolism, your body has an internal energy system where it burns a certain amount of calories every single day. So even if you're not training, even if you're sleeping, eating, 
moving, working, your body burns a certain amount of calories. So, and that's our metabolic rate. So, to, so we could be 1,600 calories, it could be 1,800 calories, it could be 2,000 calories, it could be 33,000 calories. The more muscle mass, which means the more calories you're going to burn. Okay? So what we do is when we diet, a lot of us do this. So we're humming along, our metabolism's at like 2,000 calories. They're like, oh, my God, there's a wedding down here. I want to get, I want to hit my wedding, um, or I have an event, or I want to get to the beach. So we drop the calories. We cut out all the carbohydrates, or we cut out all the fat, or we cut out all the food, and we start eating a thousand calories a day. Now, through this gap here, see here, this is where fat loss will occur. Yes, you will lose fat. That's completely fine, but your metabolic rate slows down to the amount of calories you're eating. Now, the reason why this uh, the reason why this happens is because your body goes into a bit of a fight or flight response. It's like, oh my God, I'm not eating enough calories to sustain my body running at this certain amount of energy. I need to slow down the energy and make my body essentially more efficient at burning energy. So your body gets more efficient at burning energy. It, it decreases the calorie it burns and uh, you start to burn less calories on a daily basis. Except what happens when we hit the beach or we hit the wedding or we hit the event. Our calories just go back up. We're like, woohoo, I lost my weight. I feel amazing. And now we go back to eating normal, except our metabolism is still all the way down here. Like, it has, doesn't go straight back up. So, what happens is we, our calories go up. Our metabolism takes a long time, normally about you know, the same to double the amount of time to get the metabolic rate back up. And what happens? This is all fat gain. So, this is what we call somewhat yo yo dieting because we lose weight. We screw our metabolism, we gain weight. And a lot of the time, the metabolic rate doesn't actually come back to, to where it used to be beforehand. So every single time we dieted and we crash dieted, it kind of screws us a little. So that's why we have to track our metabolism over the first week at RVT to make sure our metabolic rate is actually our true metabolic rate. And we need to make sure that we're losing the right amount of fat because then we need to actually see if everything's okay hormonally. Um, on a reverse dieting platform, which is what we want to cover, is what we do, girls and guys, is, is basically we go down and every three weeks, so this is like the three-week mark. This is the three-week mark. Sorry, the, the, the skills of the drawing isn't amazing, but you get the picture. Um, every three weeks or every two to five weeks, there is a, a form of a metabolic slowdown. It happens with every single diet. It doesn't matter what it is. So even if you cut it to 1,000 calories, your metabolic, will slow, metabolic rate will slow down after three weeks. So what we do is we take about 10% of the calories out. So instead of 2,000, we go down to 1,800. And this, this uh, calorie deficit is already built into your macronutrients inside the Excel spreadsheet that you get. So every two, every two weeks when you have your calls with Amy and, and the nutrition and staff at the RBT you're training at, what happens is it, it might plateau it might, and your results start to plateau, which means you're getting that metabolic slowdown. So Amy will say, or one of the nutritionists will go, take 10 grams of carbs out, take 2 grams of fat. So just that small amount of 10 grams of carbs out, 2 grams of fat, will kickstart your fat loss for another 3 weeks. And then the same thing will happen. And then the same thing will happen. And then the same thing will happen. So what happens is you will, can, you will slowly reduce your uh, your body fat and like you'll get your results you'll get your 0 0.75 kilos of fat each week and but what's going to happen is you're not going to heavily sabotage your metabolic rate like a thousand calorie uh, drop and like eating nothing at all and then what happens once we hit our goals when we diet for about 18 weeks straight so those who did our last eight week program this is the last eight weeks you can diet before we start to go into the next phase which is the metabolic building phase so inside this metabolic building phase, every week we add in a couple of grams of fat and 10 grams of carbs or efficient to what's your body needed and you'll have those calls with the nutritionist with RBT and we'll slowly add the carbs in, slowly add the fat in. And see this here, this is a minimal fat gain compared to this here. So we want to have even a small, only a small gain of fat, but we lift our metabolism back up. And then we diet again and we lose more body fat. So we start to lose more and more and more body fat, guys, and that's what we want. 
is to obviously get out of goal but have the highest possible metabolism because the high person with the higher metabolism gets to eat all the yummy food. Okay, and life's all about eating some tasty food and achieving the body composition that we want, guys. And that's that's completely the truth behind it all. Now, that is the reverse dieting that we go through. So every two to three weeks, we drop down your calories and carbs. So every all the girls and guys that did the last program today, what I want you to do, based on what the macronutrients say inside. Uh, the calculator that we had up before inside this calculator, what you need to do, if you did the last eight week program, I need you to take 10 grams off your carbohydrates. So this says 192 for me, I would say 182. And the fat grams say 79, I would say 77. So just go 77, if you can write it there or you can write it anywhere you want, it's a frozen cell so you can't. So 77 and I'm going to take 10 grams of carbs, so 182. And I go into my, my fitness power, I go to my home, I go to my goals, I go to change goals. And this is why this is why this is essential to have um, doing this on your desktop. I press change to grams, it changes to grams, and I take 10 grams, so it's 173 right now for me. So I'll take it to 163 and I'll take it to 73. Uh, 71 because it was 73. Now with that, I took off 10 grams of carbohydrates. There's four calories per per carbohydrate, so that goes down to 2210, and there's nine calories per uh, gram of fat, so I'd take 18 off there, so it'd be 1,992. And then I changed my goals, and so if I did that, 1,000. So it's way too much. So 1, 000, 2,192, my bad, my math is completely wrong. And there you go, my goals have updated. So if I come back into my food now, all of a sudden it's gone here. So it's my daily goal is 2-1. So it actually says I'm over now, right? Because you can see the carbs are over, the fats are over, and the calories are over. Does... This makes sense, guys. I want you to make sure that you understand what I'm talking about because that is the crucial part of us getting the results. That is crucial. Give me a yes in the comment section, in the chat. Does this make sense? Please. A couple of yeses. Yes. Come on, guys. You need to, you need to give me a bit of something back here. <coughs> Um, so a couple of people said yes. <coughs> Bless you, Nick. Um, so I'm going to go back through a couple of things. Okay. So the reason why we don't heavily calorie restrict, which is what we talked about quickly there, guys, before is metabolic slowdown. So how does this happen? When does this happen? It happens in excessive calorie deficit. So the reason we won't want an excessive calorie deficit is because eating less and less and less isn't best and over-exercising isn't the best also because it increases stress and increases cortisol levels. Okay, And if we're a chronically stressed individual, we are not going to lose fat and we are going to get a metabolic slowdown and therefore we'll get some form of metabolic damage where your metabolic rate is then damaged for a long period of time, and it takes us a long time to reverse diet you out of it, which is what we don't want from anyone at all in here. So the point is where your metabolism just slows down so much, you actually can't lose fat at all. It doesn't matter if you're doing two hours of cardio and you're eating 800 grams of calories, uh, 800 calories, you still won't lose fat. Um, so the confusion essentially uh, is because you are you're in a calorie deficit, and you exercise, and you're not losing weight, but you aren't anymore because you're metabolically damaged. So you have to sort of ask. Have you ever dieted, constantly dieted, 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 and you didn't lose weight? Okay, so you might have some form of metabolic slowdown. So to prevent it, no drastic diets is why we do small decreases on a continual basis. We don't go on starvation diets. We eat the maximum number of calories needed to a healthy deficit range. So the idea of a diet is to eat the most amount of calories as possible whilst losing fat. Do not become a macronutrient foam. Carbs are good, protein's good, fats are good. Carbohydrates are crucial for your energy levels, 
for you to lift in a higher strength levels because obviously we want to get stronger every single step of the way. We want to keep getting stronger, guys. Um, and if we're getting stronger on a deficit, then we're going to have body transformations. And there's no confusion confusions there. They also work with our CNS. So they help your nervous system actually work properly. So if everyone here has a job who's on this with me tonight, you want to keep your job, so you want to keep carbohydrates. Otherwise, your thinking is going out the window. And fats are there because they help support your thyroid gland. They help gastric emptying. They help a lot of other things as well. So we need the proteins, carbs, and fats, which are the main, micro, main macronutrients that you need. Um, and we want to have 15 grams of fiber per 1,000 calories. So girls, you want to be having about 25 grams of fiber. Guys want to be having 30, 35 grams of fiber each day. Um, so QR, stop dieting, slow and deliberate increase your calorie intake, um, stop stress and cortisol levels. So what you could do is you could have a, a tea called Tulsi tea, tea, T-U-L-S-I. Tulsi tea is a natural cortisol uh, depressant at night time, so it will help decrease your natural body's natural cortisol levels. What you could also do is you could have, you could put your feet and ankles up to shin deep in an ice, little ice bath or an ice bucket at night times. That increases your natural testosterone, which is what we all want, and also decreases your, your cortisol levels. Another thing you could do is you could, if you're using a laptop at night time, there's a free app called Flux. If you Google search that, F-L-U-X, Put that on your computer and it dims the background so it doesn't stimulate any of the, the crap going in your brain as well. So it will help you switch off. Lastly, I like to use um, a little bit of guided meditation. So if you YouTube guided meditation, so uh, this, is, this is kind of what I do, guided meditation, sleep. So I was using this one last night and it was pretty good. It wasn't this guy making a pizza, I swear. That would not make me go to sleep, it would make me hungry. Um, but this one here, that, it's a great meditation, it goes for about an hour, I listen to it, I switch off and I pass out after about 10 minutes, well, it puts me into a deep meditation. sleep. My name is Jason Stevenson from relaxmeonline.com. Jason is very relaxing. Um, so that's what I do to go to sleep at night. Um, the reason why we don't want metabolic damage is because when you crash diet, your body's leptin levels drop. Leptin's a hormone found inside your fat cells and it talks to your hypothalamus in your, uh, in your basically one of your, your major uh, hormone distribution centers. Um, so, I'm going to come back onto me. Um, the reason why we, we don't want to crash diet because leptin actually... If you crash diet, leptin, there's a leptin disruption. It tells your body to deregulate your metabolism. It says, holy shit, I'm not getting enough calories. I need you to slow the old uh, metabolism down. We're going into a starvation mode, and we want to uh, avoid prolonged low-carbohydrate diets because this also decreases leptin levels as well. And the unfortunate thing is when leptin decreases, it's hormone output, uh, hormonal counterpart, ghrelin increases. So ghrelin's your hunger hormone. So not only is your body not letting go of fat, so ghrelin increases, it's like, I'm holding on to the fat cells, I'm not letting it go. And then ghrelin increases at the same time, it's like, hey, you're gonna eat a lot. So then you're always hungry, you're not losing fat, so you eat more, so all of a sudden what happens, your weight skyrockets. And that's a yo-yo diet uh, problem as well. So when you restrict, and we gain fat, it's because there's a hormonal change as well at the same time. So you're a constant state of hunger and you eat more and you can't lose fat. So the moral story is we slowly deficit out with our diets and we, uh, we, revert, we slowly go into our deficit down and we reverse diet out so we don't have any type of problems, which is why we do the, the If It Fits Your Macro style or a flexible dieting style, guys. And that's the biggest thing why we want to do it because we can enjoy some of the foods we love at the same time inside our macronutrient needs. So... We want to eat about four meals a day. So four meals a day is what we tend to eat. There's no difference between eating eight meals or essentially two meals for fat loss. For lean muscle gains, which is what we want, we want to have about four feedings a day. So breakfast, if you want, if you want to have an intermittent fast, that's okay. You can push it back to like 11 o'clock, 12 noon. If it doesn't fit your lifestyle, this is a lifestyle approach. But say you're eating at 8 o'clock, you're eating at 1 o'clock, you're eating at 4 o'clock, you're eating at 7 or 8 o'clock, okay? So that's what it is. Like one of your feedings could be a protein shake and some yogurt, 
okay, or protein in some yogurt, stir it with some berries and eat it. That could be an easy, quick meal on the go. That's completely fine. But the reason why we need protein feedings, and it's not just feedings four times a day, it's protein four times a day, uh, is because for optimal protein synthesis, that means optimal like protein muscle building, essentially, uh, what we want is uh, you want three point, I think it's 3.2 grams of leucine, which is one of the amino acids found in protein inside so certain proteins and meats, and some proteins have higher leucine, but don't worry about that for now. Um, we want to have leucine, 3.2 grams, every four hours, okay, our waking hours. So over 16 hours that we're awake, we're having a leucine hit or protein hit every four hours. And that's exactly how we you know, expedite the results that we're trying to get, guys. And that's a, that's a crucial thing as well at the same time. Um, how you fix it if it's already happened, the metabolic slowdown, then basically what you'll do, Bianca, is you'll, you'll look at where you're sitting at as far as uh, what's happening with your hormone, like what's happening with your fat loss, okay? And... And what's happening with your fat loss, sorry. And if, you, if you're not losing fat, then we want one, we want to take it 10 grams, two grams, 10 grams of carbs out, two grams of fat. And if we're not losing fat at all, we need to start the reverse dieting process. And we need to build your metabolism back up. And then we need to start the dieting process. So first it would be building your metabolism up and then dieting. So it's just a slightly longer process. But the key is we want to maintain our fat loss and get our fat loss for life. It's not just, okay, let's get that quick fix. It's actually building a healthy metabolism, a healthy body, a healthy functioning system and getting the results we want for life. Uh, Karen, you asked, uh, why do we need to take it off? Is it only if we did the last eight weeks? Right now, yes, Karen, only if you did the last eight weeks, but every couple of weeks you'll have to slowly decrease it. You'll get a phone call every single two weeks from a nutritionist at the club and they'll go through what's happening with your body fat and make sure we can track your calories and grams accordingly, okay? So we want to have plenty of lean protein every single one of those four meals, moderate fats, plenty of vegetables and fruits, making sure we hit our micronutrients, hitting our fiber 20 to, 20, 20 to 30 grams a day, um, and moderate refined uh, foods, so like our sugars and things like that. You can have a little bit, not all the sugars. You can't eat all the ice cream. You can have a, have like a bowl, okay, just not a tub. Um, unless you're Archie and he has really high calories at the moment. So, eat slowly, exercise, yes, you must exercise, but remember guys, when you're coming down to the gym, if it's four 45 minute sessions, there is only three hours. There's only three hours inside the, uh, inside the gym. I said I was going to look this up, I thought there was like, you know, 166 hours in the week. But hours in the week, there's, it says like, I just Google this, 240, I don't believe that. Um, but I thought it was like 166 hours in the week. 168. If, 168, there you go, Nick gave it to me. 168 hours in the week. So if um, if you're in the gym only for three hours, you've got 165 hours you still got to account for, guys. So that is where your diet comes into play, which means you need to have a deficit. You need to be only three grams either side of these proteins, fats, and carbs. So as you see, I changed my calories for you guys, but it was at 2250. My protein, fats, and carbohydrates were on point. So if you add two and you add 10, it's 110. So this has to be within three grams either side. Um, I just realized I wasn't sharing my screen. If you, what you need to do guys is, this is the crucial thing. And this here, three grams either side, carbs, fats, and protein in your MyFitnessPal. This is the crucial thing, okay, guys? So please make sure we are doing that because that's what's, what's going to help us with our goals, okay? So um, carbs are important, guys. We talked about that. They give us glycogen. They give us performance. They help us get stronger. Uh, you know, delays the exhaustion, fat's important, we already talked about that, slows the gastric emptying, we don't need to know how to do your calories because it's already done for you, we have three to four meals a day, if you want your post-workout protein shakes, it's 10 bucks, and the gym, which is 
four shakes a week, which is amazing. Um, my fitness uh, guides, please go through the membership site, guys. It's imperative that we do. Um, like imperative that we do. And you know that you're going to have the sticking points, guys. So every two to five weeks, you're going to have sticking points. So the biggest thing is we want to diet at the most amount of calories because it gives us the most amount of, of decreases along the way. Let's find out where. There is it. Um, it gives us the most amount of leeway, guys, when we're decreasing our calories. So if we start up here, if we're doing a 16-week fat loss journey, okay, and our metabolism's up here at the 2,000 calories, so at 2,000 calories, now, if we're taking off uh, the plateaus, we have five changes of just a 10% deficit or the small deficit. Uh, we're only going to end up at 1,500 calories, which is still we're eating enough food. If we're taking 500 calorie chunks every single time and we're having big chunks of, uh, of decreases um, every single time when we're doing our plateaus, what we're going to do is after five weeks of taking off the after five weeks of taking down 500 calories each time, we're actually eating negative calories, which is obviously what we don't want. Negative calories is not the goal. Um, I'm just I'm just going to flick over from my laptop, guys, to the screen. So I'm going to pull up the program because I need to talk about the daily undulating program as well. Okay. Um, so obviously, like we said there, guys, making sure that you're eating a calorie deficit is, is key. Increasing your metabolism. We've got about five minutes left. Bear with me. I'm going to go through your training program right now. Um, I'm pulling this up. It's always the way. It was on my Mac and not on my iMac. Um, going back to screen share. So with this here, guys, you have this... Uh, Okay, no worries, okay. Um, you have this this Excel spreadsheet, okay? So it's in the group. I think it just got uploaded then, guys, or it's in there tonight either way. Um, and it's at the gym. So your back squat for your 5RM, you get to adjust this. So say it's 30 kilos. You know your 12 reps is this your th and your 1 rep is this. If your 5RM is 100 kilos, guys, yeah, 12 reps is this. Your one rep is this. It's the same as your close grip bench as well. If that's 50 kilos, obviously it changes everything. So when we're coming over here, um, so when we're coming over into our, our actual exercises, guys, uh, you can see that my box squats that I have on, on day one, it's five sets, 10 reps, that uh, obviously if my back squat, 10 reps is 85 kilos, okay? So five sets, 10 reps, okay? And it's gonna be 85 kilos. So that's what we want, guys. So we're gonna pull this across. Oh, no, it's already done for you. So it's all completely done, guys, which is a great thing. So I think Mish did that for us, like a, the gangster that she is. She's an Excel ninja. So this works out your suggested weight. The biggest thing what you need to understand with your suggested weight is, guys, this is 65% of your or 60% of your 1RMs for the first week. Now, if you can box squat over this amount, so I'll change this down to, like, say, say I'm doing 50 kilos. If you can box squat and you're killing this weight, then just bump it up by 10 kilos if you're doing it so easy. Then it reestablishes what your 1RM is, guys, and your 5RM. So every week we need to sit these going up, every single week. So day two is this. It has our floor press, our chin-ups, and we have a drop set with our, our kettlebells. Day three, we have a full squat, not a box squat, glute bridge, deadlift singles. So we do one deadlift at a time for five reps. And then we have another upper body session on the Thursdays. If we're going into week three, what happens is the sets increase and the intensity increases. So you can see if I go to week six, my weight's gone up again, my sets are going up again, and so is week week seven and week eight. So every single, every like uh, week one, week three, week five, week seven, I will see my sets increase my reps will decrease, but my weight's increasing. So what happens is sets 
This here times reps times weight equals my volume. So these three together, these three together, these three together, give me my volume for the workout. So I might adjust these so it tells you your volume for the workout because every single week your volume must be going up because if your volume's going up, means you're hitting your workouts. So every week the volume of the workout must increase and if it increases, guys, there's only one thing that's going to happen and that one thing is a body transformation. So we're in a deficit, so our calories are slowly going down and our, uh, every, every third week, we're going like this with our strength gains. So our strength gains are going up. So calories down like that. Sorry, this is reverse like that. So <laughs> we're going like that, guys. So calories down and we have going up is our uh, is our strength, which means we're going to get a body transformation. And that's the crucial thing. As far as supplements that I say to take, guys, so with the supplements, I put, put some studies in there last week if you want to read we recommend you take creatine if you want to get strength gains and you want to increase uh, you know, a little bit of lean muscle mass. Females, you do want to do that, trust me, because it lifts your metabolism. Five grams of creatine a day will take you to a saturation point of creatine within a couple of weeks. Creatine helps, uh, will help with your strength gains, the studies shown. Okay, it's simple as that. So creatine is a crucial thing to, to take if you want to take supplements. Five grams a day, okay? Um, caffeine pre-workout increases your fat loss. It's as simple as that. Whey protein, it gives you the proteins, so the amino acids, leucine, um, post-workout, helps recovery, helps fat loss, helps everything. So that's the three supplements I take. say to take, guys. Uh, we're also doing four times the Tabata, Ahu just said then. Um, we will be adding it in, Ahu, um, in, in the last five weeks. So you're going to have five, uh, four weeks off at home. And then you go four back, four weeks back in. Uh, who? So that's everything I wanted to cover today, guys. Have we got any questions? Yes or no? Please post them because I'm here tonight to answer your questions to make sure that we're getting the desired outcome with our fat loss. Where one, we must be hitting those weights on the page, if not hitting more. Okay, that is crucial. We must be hitting the grams, three grams either side, and going to the deficit. That is crucial. If we're doing that, turning up four times a week, smashing our goals, you'll get a body transformation. You'll lose 0.75 kilos every week. You'll feel great in eight weeks. In 16 weeks, you'll feel even better. And 24 weeks, your metabolism is going to be building back up. You're going to rock some abs if you're, if you're a guy. You're going to feel great in a bikini if you're a female. And that is the crucial thing. Okay? Um, what we do need, guys, is we're actually going to be doing uh, <laughs> selfies. It, it, selfies, okay? So, as funny as that sounds. Um, the photos that we're doing at the gym, we do that every two weeks. But what I want you to do is the girls in the girls' group, obviously it's a secret group, only females are in there. Guys, it's a guys' group. I need to see a front picture, a side picture, and a back picture <laughs> every, every uh, Monday. So, if you can't do it tonight, and post it in the group. So you can post in a photo collage. The photo collage app is free. So front, back, and side. You can do it in a bikini. You can do it in white shorts. You can do it in one of those two types of things. What we do this for is an accountability. The groups that I've seen the biggest changes for, I've had 5,000 people on tr online transformations before. We've had, obviously, the gyms that have been running. Um, like The biggest ones is the biggest accountability and the biggest changes. And that there is accountability. We do it because you're going to also see the transformation front, back, and side. Sometimes that body fat, it, you know, it's every two weeks. But the photos spur you on. And also, I'm going to post a video on measurements. So I want you to do a measurement arm, chest, waist, hip, thigh every single Monday as well. So take the photos tonight. Post them in the group. Please do so. Um, if not, take it tomorrow morning before you wake up and get started for your day. Doing the front, back, and side, it's always going to be the first person who doesn't want to post it in there. Be the first person. Go and lead by example. Post them in there, and you're actually going to get better results. The people that post the photos are the ones that are going to get the best results. They stay in the group. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere else. This is for your accountability to get your goals. Okay, guys? We haven't had any other questions. We're going to ask for questions. So... This is going live to YouTube right now. I'll private it. 
and I'll pop it in the group so you can watch it any other time. And that's it for me tonight. Thank you for joining me, guys. Thank you. Hope you learned some stuff because that is what we do. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I was just waiting to see if there was anything. There's not. I'll talk to you in the gym, guys. Have a great day.